All right, welcome back. Uh, again, my name is Adam with UploadWordPress.com, and in this video, we're going to finish the uh, uh, initial setup of the Classy Press settings in the WordPress admin, and then we're going to move on to um, actually uploading a custom header and logo image. So, um, again, let's uh, go ahead and log into the WordPress admin, and I'm under Classy Press, and then I'm under Settings, and now we're on the Security tab right here. So for the uh, back office access, I want to set that to admins only. And then for CAPTCHA settings, um, I do want to enable CAPTCHA. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes and then just enter your uh, public key and your private key. And you can generate that by clicking on these links here. I already have them generated, so I'm just going to copy and paste from another Classy Press site that I created. So I'm just going to go ahead quickly and copy and paste those in. And here we go and then down here you can select you know the the color or the theme for um, the CAPTCHA uh, I'm just gonna go with um, black alright click save changes alright so now we've we've completed the general theme the listings the uh, the general tab the uh, listing settings the security settings if we go to advertising um, here's where you can put in uh, code right here for the 460 by 60 header banner so right here um, you can put that uh, code in here whatever code you want whether it's AdSense or a custom banner that you create whatever it is you can put it in here um, you can also put uh, AdSense here as well this will show up on the uh, classified ads themselves each individual ad you'll your um, AdSense or whatever ad you might want to display will will automatically display there. For, I'm going to leave it blank for right now. I'll come back to it later and add uh, a banner uh, banner ad. And then Facebook tab. Here's if you want to integrate your Facebook fan page, you can do that. And then advanced settings. You don't have to worry about changing anything in here unless there's something that you specifically want to update. I, I leave all of these settings at, uh, as default uh, for now. I don't uh, change anything in the advanced tabs. All right. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is under Classy Press emails. So you want to set up your email options um, to notify you and for and to notify the site user that actually creates the classified ad. So in this case, under the general tab, uh, this says that emails will be sent to info at costumeclassifieds.com. Um, if I wanted it to be sent to a different email address, I'd just click on change and change that email address. And this is to notify me. So here, here's email notifications. Uh, new ad email. Yes, I want to be notified when somebody creates new ad. Um, prune ad emails. I don't have that set on. I prune ads on, so I don't have to worry about that one, so leave it at no. Um, ad approved email. Yes, I, wanna, uh, I want the system to send out an email once uh, the user's ad has been approved. Ad expire email, yes, I want the system to send out an email once a classified ad has expired to let them know that it's expired so that they can create a new one or relist the old one. Um, admin new email, uh, admin uh, new user email, uh, this is for me, yes, I'd like to be notified each time somebody new creates an account. That gives me an idea on how quickly the the website is, is growing and you know the user base is building up and then send a membership subscription reminder email this is if we turn on there's a there's a option to create like a membership style site within this classified uh, ads theme so I'll leave that set to yes for now but uh, that's a little bit more advanced so you don't have to worry about that alright and then um, under the new user email tab here so this is new user registration email um, enable custom email. I'll leave it at no. I'll, there's a default email that goes out, and uh, you'll see it down here. I just like to use the default one for now to keep it simple. If you wanted to use your own custom, you know, email that would go out to a new user each time they created an account, and then each time they get notified that their ad was live, um, you can do that, and it's done in this section. So just play around in here, and you'll figure this all out. I'm not going to go in detail on it because it really depends on your needs. Um, so let's click save changes alright so now we've set up the uh, email uh, automatic email settings pricing 
this is where we can determine if we're going to charge for uh, ads. All right, so pricing information. So let's say that, uh, so the first thing is uh, charge for ads. I'll set that to yes. Um, show the featured ad slider. I want that to be yes. The fe it'll show up right here when we have featured ads. Um, featured ad length, 30 days currently it's set to. I'll leave it at 30 days. Featured ad price. So, you know, a featured ad can cost, should cost more obviously than just a normal ad, uh, uh, listing. So, I'll just say for a featured ad price, uh, I'll go $10. Um, all right, and then let's see here. Currency symbol, dollar sign, uh, all this other stuff, just leave it as default. Pricing model, I'll go ahead and click Save Changes. Pricing model. So here's where you can choose, you can charge a fixed price per ad. You can choose a price per category. Or you could choose a percentage of the seller's ad price. Um, or, or you could choose here to only charge for featured ads. So in this case, I'm going to say only charge for featured ads because I want the normal, just a plain listing that's not a featured listing to be free. Because I want to encourage because this is a new site I want to encourage people to, to use it uh, and allow them to use it for free if they'd like. If they want to pay for a featured ad that's great but um, so I'm gonna say just only charge for featured ads and then this membership tab uh, again this is where you can create it's a little bit more advanced so I'm not going to get into the details of this I don't have enough time with these videos to, uh, but uh, just know that you can create like membership packages and really get pretty advanced with this so you know you can choose your pricing model again it could be a fixed price per ad a price per category a percentage of the seller's ad price or only charge uh, for featured ads so I'm just gonna, I, I only want to charge for featured ads right now so I'm gonna put it at that and then click save changes All right, next is packages. This is where we'll actually create our ad packages that they'll get to choose from. So by default right here, you're going to see that there's just 30 days only for $5. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And I'm going to say uh, 20 days, 20 day free listing. Because I want, the, this is the, for the normal listing. Remember we're charging $10 for the featured listing, but for if they just want to do normal ad listings, it's free. So 20 day free listing all right and I'll just say create in the description create a 20-day free listing price per listing since it's free obviously put in zero add duration I want these to be 20 days for the normal ones and uh, package uh, status we want that uh, to be active so go ahead and click Save Changes. And now that will save and that will be um, active. So you can actually create as many of these packages, ad packages as you want. So I did a 20 day free package. I could do a 30 day, or I could do a 40 day package, you know, and charge $5. And then I could do, I could do as many as I want. I'm just gonna leave it at one right now so that the options when they check out, after they create their ad, is they can get it for a 20-day listing for free or if they want a featured ad uh, for 30 days it's ten dollars those are the two options I'm gonna have right now so I'm just gonna leave it at that alright and then coupons here's where you can create coupons if you want to um, you know you can do like create a f uh, free featured ad coupon and send it out to your list or whatever you wanted to do so you can create as many coupons as you want under gateways uh, PayPal is integrated with this so it's as easy as simply adding your PayPal email address here and the, this uh, this theme takes care of everything else it's really really pretty uh, pretty cool how that works so enable PayPal I set that to yes I'd go ahead and enter my PayPal email address there um, and that's it and then just click save changes and when an ad is created out when somebody goes to post an ad they fill out their ad and if they choose since I, I'm charging for a fe uh, featured ads they choose a featured ad it'll automatically take them to PayPal uh, and they can pay whether they have a PayPal account or not with a credit card and uh, it automatically goes to your account so it's really really advanced uh, and works really really well so uh, you also have the option of a bank transfer, but I've never used that.
um, I just go with PayPal because everybody knows PayPal and it, it's tightly integrated with it and it works really well so yeah if you're going to charge for ads go ahead and uh, set up your PayPal info here um, form layouts alright so this is where you can actually create custom forms for example when I'm out on the site and I want to post an ad um, you'll see it brings up a form or it tells me to choose a category which will create our categories in a minute here but um, so I'd have to fill out this form okay so you can see the form right here what this allows you to do under form layouts is if you click on add new you can create custom forms that fit you know your particular niche or whatever the site's about in this case it's, it's about costumes you know so I would have uh, here, first of all, you go ahead and name the form, give it a description, select the categories that it, that it applies to. So you can have different forms for different categories. It really is pretty advanced. Um, they're really pretty much anything you can think of, customization-wise, you can do any any form you can create it very very easily. Uh, you just click create form, and then you customize it. And then, like, let's say that there's not a you wanted to create a certain field to add to your form that's not there by default. You just click on custom fields right here and just click on add new. See these are all there by default. Okay, but if you wanted to add a new one, you go ahead and give it a name, a description, you know, uh and then uh, fill out this information and create new field and then you go back into your form layouts and that field would be available, that custom field that you just created would be available for you to add to the form wherever you wanted to. Um so it's really like I said this between form layouts and custom fields you can build any type of, of a form a custom form that you want to and you can apply it to all of your categories or to just some of them you can have as many forms as you want so it's very 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 customi uh, customizable um, and then under transactions <clears throat> you can see here that uh, this will show you all the transactions that have happened on the site obviously it's a brand new site so nothing's going on System info, you can look at that whenever you want. I'm not going to go into detail on that. This kind of just shows you the details of your system here. So, um, so that's really the Classy Press settings. Uh, again, if we start back at the dashboard, this gives you a, a screenshot of everything that's going on with the website. Um, and then the settings, whenever you want to adjust them, you go in here. And uh, you can create, you know, update your pricing. You can create new ad packages. You can create coupons. You can create custom forms, uh, custom fields to add to the custom forms. So it's very, really advanced and uh, can be customized any way you want. Um, so that's the first thing you want to do after installing the, the theme and activating it. You want to come into Classy Press settings and uh, you know customize these settings to how, however you want. So now that that's done, the next thing that I would do is I would um, go ahead and create a custom logo um, and something to put over here in this 468 by 60 ban banner space over here. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pause this video, create a custom logo, and then I'll be right back and we'll upload the logo. Okay, so I've created uh, my logo and I'm ready to upload it now to the site. So let's go into the uh, WordPress admin here and let's go to Classy Press and Settings. And now, uh, under the General tab, I'm going to just scroll down to Website Logo, and then click on Upload an Image. And uh, I'll give you the, the uh, dimensions of the um, of the actual logo on my website, UploadWordPress.com. I'll link to it for, with this from this video. But uh, it's as easy as just going ahead and selecting the files, and then find. Uh, Go to the folder, and I saved the logo as a PNG. I believe that a JPEG would work as well, but I like to use PNG. So go ahead and upload it, and then just click. Uh, I like to get full size on it, and then insert into post. And there's the logo right here. And now just click save changes. And then if we go out to the website and refresh the page we should see the logo
there we go. All right, so it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, it's simple as just uploading it in the WordPress admin. Um, I'd also go ahead. And, I'm also going to go ahead and create a 468 by 60 banner here, probably a slogan of some sort, and then upload it. Uh, this image will be uploaded under advertising, and then right here is where I put the HTML for that. You'll see the header. 468 by 60 that goes right here. Again, that's under the advertising tab. So I'm going to do that next. I'll go ahead and create this, and then I'm going to I'm going to upload it here. Um, I'm not going to film that because it's pretty straightforward on how to do that. So I think I'll end this video right here, and then we'll come back with an, in the next video. And we'll set up our categories, and then we'll set up our um, sidebar here widgets. Um, so. Uh, I'll be back in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. Again, my name is Adam with UploadWordPress.com. This is uh, video two of a series of videos on how to build a classified ad style site using the Classy Press theme.